politically incorrect. Thank you very much for this spin off. Oh! <laughs> and I love this record, too. She used to work for Phil Graham. Now she's the driving force behind Parents Against Clinton. Cindy Mosteller. Cindy! Nice to see you again, Cindy. Oh, of course. His book is locked in the cabinet now, available in paperback at prices you can afford. The 22nd Secretary of Labor, Robert Reich. Mr. Hello, Secretary, Hello, always a pleasure. Thank you. He is uh, on the cover. Of, this is the album I just dropped on the floor, and I shouldn't, because, you know, when I was a kid, they called these records. <laughs> However you put it out, this is a great one. He's on the cover of Rolling Stone. This is the bomb. Mechanical Animals, Marilyn Manson, right over here. She is an actress, model, and cultural icon. Her new syndicated action show is VIP. I was on it. Pamela Anderson Lee, right over here. Hello. I'm all right. How you doing? Welcome. Okay. Well, I want to get. Uh, we have some crazy people here today, obviously. So I. W yeah. Take your shoes That's off. Like on the Jerry Springer show. Yeah. You watch. Going to throw it in. So. Anything else that shoes. feels good for you to okay. take off? Just go right ahead. <laughs> I want everyone to be comfortable. Um, I want to talk about this Ross Perot. He was on Larry King the other night, and he was talking about Clinton. And thank God Ross Perot finally came out on Clinton. <laughs> and he came back and back and back to the subject of drugs. Let me quote. He said, uh, talking about Clinton, he said, we have got erratic behavior by the president. All right, either he's got mental troubles or he does something like take drugs to spin them out from time to time. Viagra. Viagra. That's the, that's the problem. That's the problem. Clint's been on Viagra. He's obviously. because yeah. he's got an erection. Um, <laughs> you know, Ro Ross Perot, is a, he is a kook. He's a certified kook. He's a pleasant kook, but he's too short. <laughs> <laughs> These boots, maybe, might... I could You're right. That's what he needs. You yeah. know, Mr. Secretary, those boots on you, I think... <laughs> Would really can give I, can him a pat. Of course, a first question. question. Is it about drugs? What planet are you from? <laughs> oh. No, that's not. That's not. Come on. You, you, look good. you really do look good. California. Could be any worse. Um, but it does sound like somebody's mom. You know, like, hey, he's. He's acting weird. It must be drugs. My parents used to say that about me all the time. That you're on drugs? My parents say it about me, but it's absolutely true. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when I was in high school, I used to steal my mom's uh, diuretic pills, like speed, you know? Right. I would sell them. I sell, sell them at Christian school, and I got... Oh that's one of the reasons why. <laughs> or you could... But, wait, well, but what, is a what is a drug? Seriously. What, what do, how do we define... Yeah, how do we that. define drugs? Exactly. It's a loose term. Hmm? It's a loose term. That's part of my point. Isn't everybody on drug, on a drug of some kind? No. No? No. You don't do caffeine? You never uh, have a cup of coffee? I, I generally drink decaf coffee, but I mean, I don't know if you'd call that a drug. You'd well, call I, that some type of stimulant. Since people get buzzed, I would. Sugar, I mean fruit. It, taking we, a fruit, we, it's in all our, In our society, we no longer know every, any stimulant and any drug. I mean, the, the, the line between it is very, very blurred, isn't it? Also, well. also, it's popular opinion. You know, something that was illegal years ago is legal now. You know, everyone believed the planet was flat, and now, you know, it's, you know, we have a different... Cocaine used yeah, to be in Coca-Cola. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, things... That, what? That was the secret formula that, that uh, was <laughs> revealed? Yeah. That was, that's, that's called what, classic That had something coke. to do with why Michael, <laughs> that's why Michael Jackson's hair caught on fire, because he went against the drug gods of, of <laughs> and then he burned. I stand by coke, that. you know. In fact, my outfit was uh, an homage to Coca-Cola. It is, great. And cocaine as well. That is yeah. a, a, that is a, so that, you think, that is a wild you think outfit. drugs cause Clinton's behavior? Do you think drugs cause Clinton's behavior? Of course not. I'm yeah, saying, right. I'm saying Ross Perot is saying these things. Is there anyone who is more nuts than Ross Perot, and he's not on drugs. Doesn't that tell <laughs> wait you something? Wait a minute, Are you, do you know he's not on drugs? No, I don't. <laughs> but from the way he spoke, he wanted Clinton to take an oath, and he said he would take the same oath and risk 20 years 20 of jail, years. which is probably not a good idea. He said, you have to take responsibility for your, for your own actions in a free society. Now, if it was truly a free society, 
shouldn't we able to do be able to do whatever as adults we want to do in our mind? No, because no, the no because we don't live on an island. You were talking about libertarianism, and I think that would be great if you lived on an island. But the fact is that we live in a society, and uh, choices that I make can impact you. Can. Yes, can. No, but I think that's the issue. Yes. If they if they don't, in other words, if it's really only you, if you are an adult, and you are not in any way affecting anybody else by your decisions, shouldn't you be? permitted to do what you want to do. It's, it depends on what the it is. Um, right. we, I thought that was going to be your line. Well, I think, I think drugs, oh, Mr. drugs also, huh? I think drugs can also work as a bit of social Darwinism. It kind of weeds out the, you know, a lot of people that abuse drugs make the people that use them look bad. Abs I've been <laughs> You know, and I try well, to look my know, best for I want to be in a public service commercial, making that point. What, what is it that your uh, mother good... thought you were on drugs for? Oh, they just always used to think I was on drugs. Anything I ever did, I was like, she's on drugs, I know she's on drugs. Carol, I know she's on drugs. Just, I don't know why. That but you like never were. Everything. No, not at that point. <laughs> <laughs> not at that time. <laughs> Go on. No, I mean, well. Anything could control you. You know, drugs, that's the easiest thing. But television, the internet. Religion, yeah, those obviously. Things don't, those, those things don't lower your resistances to doing bad things. Sure I mean, they do. I have friends that sit on the parole board. Are you kidding the board. internet? Religion? Yeah. Well, no, no. Religion. There are other people in, that in, threaten me over religion. Unless you move into, like, porn on the internet and things like that. But I'm saying a, you, a porn drug... Porn doesn't hurt you. A drug could low... Now, there's a real... I would really you know, take issue you, with that. How do you define drug? Sorry, how do you define drug? What is well, I mean, I would kind of look to the law to give me some type of legal definition. But I, and I think this whole thing's going to continue. I mean, you take enough aspirin and you might be... It, you take enough Tylenol, it's going to impact you. I think we should always look to <laughs> consider should it be re wait, wait, revised. Wait, 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 we can't look... I mean, the law is what we create. The law is what we want. And the question is what we think should be but, the but I think we've made decisions that there are certain substances that do have a significant enough impact on us to impact our behavior in negative ways. I, my, but you, but know that, but you know why it won't work? Because, uh, simple example, sea monkeys, for example. They're not against the law. But I've job. taken those and I've given them to people as drugs. Sea and it's messed them up. They eat them? So what do they do with them? They snorted them. They eat them. They snorted the, 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 the sea monkeys. Wait a, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do the animal what rights people know about this? Well, they weren't alive. Oh, it's a, It's a little Dead dust, and you but put it in the water, and they grow. You, they but grow. I, made, I said, look, it's going to grow inside your brain. You're going to experience new things. And they said, sure. Did it's it not illegal, but I think it's wrong. I should be punished for it. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back with this and this. Planning to be in the Los Angeles area and would like free tickets to Politically Incorrect, call 323-575-4321. All right, the other uh, big news story that was front page news, certainly out here, because uh, Pete Wilson, our governor, signed it into law today. They are calling it the Stockerazzi Law, mm -hmm. and it has been, uh, I know <laughs> you're probably for I'm very happy about that. Right, That's well, let me, let me just quote it. It's, it's to curb celebrities from being chased, uh, of rather, photographers from chasing celebrities, from, quote, engaging, if they're engaging in a personal or family activity in circumstances where they have a reasonable expectation of privacy. That's what right. the law says. You can no longer get into their private life. And what do you think? Through the use of high technology, the lens, is that what you're talking that's, about? Uh, that's a lot of it, yes. Yeah. You can't have Brad Pitt's right. penis anymore. Uh, listen, I, uh, excuse me, I, I, well, I, I don't repeat could, that. But, don't repeat that. Yeah. Uh, I think if you're standing on legal ground that you should be able to use any legitimate technology to, uh, to look, at, look at distance. I do. No, 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 I no, do. no. If somebody is in their house where they're in a place where they have any assumption of privacy, they ought to be private. Everybody is entitled to some privacy. If they, work in, if they go into a hotel or they go into a, a restaurant, that's different. Then they've given away their right to privacy. But not, but in, the re not in the hotel room. Not in a hotel room. Well, that's, no, where they they lobby. that's where they got Frank Gifford. <laughs> in the hotel room. And that's not right. Or in the Oval they, Office. It's not the Oval Office. Right. right. Uh, that's right. That always comes back to the Oval Office. Right. Everything. And the word Oval is so important. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Steve, what do you think I mean? I don't know, but you look at me with those red eyes, I feel like I'm suddenly <laughs> under your You've spell. You've done something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I've, I've had so much of that myself that um, I'm used to it, and I don't really expect people to leave me alone. 
So when I'm at home, you know, taking a bath, I make sure I'm wearing like a pink gorilla costume with a big penis on it. So. <laughs> I try and entertain him, you know. You can't really get rid of him. But you have I got some kids come to my door yesterday, and you know, we told them that Lionel Richie lived there, so I thought that would kind of distract them. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's a, a very big attitude you have about it, but other members of our panel may have had their privacy invaded. Uh. <laughs> No. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, they run you off the road. I have all sorts of things when I was pregnant and with my, my two kids, and they've almost run over other children to try and get to me. I mean, it's really dangerous. I mean, well, you had a video stolen. Dangerous. I mean, what was done yeah. to her, I think, is a crime. I, yeah, I certainly think it's wrong what was done to her. And you don't yeah. think it would be a crime if someone is in the privacy of their own home and someone has a telephotic lens and they get you in your home? Absolutely. I, I, I think if you're out Why in the yard, that, what, if you're outside, like I, I don't think... What law? What are there peeping it. Tom laws? I mean, how can you no, say no, that? No, no, I'm not that? saying inside your house. I'm saying if you're out in the yard having a barbecue or by a pool and somebody can stand on a public street okay. and use... So an celebrities are basically under... What? What if you have an outhouse in your backyard? Some people do. <laughs> Not in South Carolina anymore. So you're saying celebrities have to be under house arrest. In other uh, words, they can stay inside no, and listen, then they're here's okay. here's a celebrity who seems to be able to handle that. Well, he's lucky. And he's also a bit of an exhibitionist. Well, <laughs> well I'm an exhibitionist, too. Okay. But... <laughs> yeah. So... But, I mean, what principle are we upholding by allowing this? Why, why is that something we should, we should stick by, that well, we as allow? As a woman, I've been in a lot of fearful situations where people jump out of bushes, you know, I've been trying to get in my car, and, you know, if, it, if a guy didn't have a camera hanging around his neck, then it would be, you know, he'd be a stalker. But since he has a camera, you know, he's allowed to do these things and chase me around, and it's been really scary. And he's you, know, I've been... you know what it really is? It's, it's George Orwell. And mm -hmm. it's, it's not big brother, it's little brother. It's lots of little brothers. And it's with that, with the Internet... And, you know, it started with, like, Rodney King. Everybody around you is contributing to, you know, the watching of yourself. Yeah, and it's not just, I mean, it's not just yeah, celebrities. It's, it's, any, it's privacy. Privacy in general is under assault in this country. I mean, people can get your credit card numbers. They can go into your Internet. Uh, you know, they, there have to be very strict privacy laws. And, and that is certainly the situation you have with your ex-boss. I mean, the, the, basics, the basic argument comes down to, okay, he, he may have lied he seems to be you know, a little really, bit slippery the, i tell you this uh, in the name and he definitely had sex but is that more of a threat to the republic than the invasion of privacy which has right. produced the, but i tell you what's a threat to the republic is a president who i think he should resign because of what he did I sexually in the oval office thank you so but much. i think he should go through the impeachment process because of the high disregard for the law that he has displayed what and law? how he's gone through this process. There's no law the against oral of, sex. No, I know I'm that's, talking about... I, I know I'm, that upsets you. <laughs> in my... If I, if I can assert... <laughs> in fact, when it comes to oral sex... It leaves and I know, because yeah, I'm, ex, I'm an expert on the oral sex. I've, I've read that on... <laughs> I have a, a chapter in my book, and it, it clearly states, and I wish Clinton would have held it up, you know, when he was on TV and said that oral sex is like handshakes and autographs. When you're a celebrity, it's part of your job. <laughs> All right, we'll take The only part I can't agree with is the cigarette. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever we have our uh, former Secretary of Labor here, we'd like to do a labor issue. There is one in the news this week. It is about a <laughs> department store Santa. Actually, she was working at a Walmart. I didn't know Walmart had Santas, but they have everything else. Right. Uh, but a female, okay? A female working in Santa Claus. And uh, they let her go because uh, basically they said, look, <laughs> Santa's a guy. He's married to Mrs. Claus. And the elves like it that way. Right. That's right. And she sued because she said it's wrong and, and discriminating to disqualify me just because I am a female Santa. And uh, listen, I think if you're Benji's lawyers, you don't have a right to sue Walt Disney because he didn't get the lead in that darn cat. <laughs> That's just kind of how I see it. Uh, I think it's I think it's more of not a woman issue but a breast issue. Because Walmart yes. won't carry my CD because I have breasts. Right. And I think Santa deserves to have breasts. Santa can give wait, 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 toys to kids. On, Santa can have it breasts. It depends on the purpose of Santa. I mean... Well, if, right? I, if I right? want to sit on I mean, Santa's if, lap, if, I want to squeeze some breasts. If Pam wants to... <laughs> <laughs> what did you used to get for Christmas? I mean, it depends a on who's in my stocking. Walmart, <laughs> Walmart, if anybody has, anybody has a deep voice, 
and can dress up like Santa. If it is a woman or if it is a man, it doesn't matter. They ought to be permitted to be Santa. And if a woman has a beard, Let's... she should be able to have it. Absolutely. Drag. Absolutely. Drag. Santa and drag. It's fine. Or if a woman is with a beard. No, you know. but, but you know what? But, I think an employ I think an employee should have the freedom to take to say, listen, Santa's generally a man, and I, I should have that freedom to my have employer. Some I agree with an you. Employer, excuse me, an employer, excuse me, I really do. Yeah. You know, I don't know why in this day and age everybody has to do everything. Right. That's true. You know. That's right. And Short can people can't be basketball players. I'm sorry. White men hey, can't jump. You're, you're, you know, you're. <laughs> <laughs> that's very, very close. I think that's there ought to be a separate league. <laughs> And also, it may be, it may be that a department store wants to have a female Santa, and it may be that people want to sit on her lap. But Santa... And that's perfectly And okay. then also, then they're going to start, you know, if he's a Jewish Santa, he has to be circumcised. <laughs> it's going to get very complicated. <laughs> but very Santa complicated. doesn't have breasts, you know, and it, I think it would confuse... Why not? He's kind I of think fat. It... <laughs> you know, I think mean, about it. Santa, like, so what, know what about men? About. If men's breasts get to a certain size, should that be considered sexual? Like, if a big, fat guy has big breasts? <laughs> Men with breasts. Because what about the guy that got breast implants? I bet he can't walk around topless. You're a but provocative he could be, person. He could, be, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he could be Santa. He could but, be Santa. He could be Santa, see? Santa, even though he had. Maybe implants. you have to have well, male think, genitalia Pamela? to be Santa. Oh, the I breasts think, are I irrelevant, but maybe you have to have a penis to be Santa. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, that's fair. Because otherwise, that is, no, no, that is not a bona fide occupational qualification. What? Would you like to be? Santa? <laughs> no. Mrs. Claus. I'll be but Mrs. Claus. I'll be Santa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Join us Friday when our guests will be Cheryl Lee Mao, Charles Shaughnessy, Adam Goldberg, and Laura Ingram. All right, since, again, we have one of the Clinton cabinet members here, let me ask you, let me go back to Ross Perot for a second. Let me read one of his other quotes. He said, I think it's totally disgusting that you'd take advantage of a vulnerable young woman and just manipulate her and use her like a toy. That's his estimation of what Clinton and Monica, I see you uh, nodding. Yeah, that's true. Why did he manipulate her? She showed him her butt thong. Well, yeah, she says she shows him this, which is wrong of her. He goes, hell, you got on thong underwear? Meet me in my office at 10 o'clock. By the way, what's your name? That's the kind of man we got as a president oh, of the United States. Oh, come on. I think that a, exactly. if a girl wants absurd. to be Santa or she wants to be a humidor, a girl should be able to do what she wants to do. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. This, is, this, is a time, this, is a time in Amer this is a time in American history when we have India and Pakistan have the bomb, Russia's imploding, Japan is going down the tubes, one in five American kids are in poverty, and we as a nation are obsessing about presidential... Oh, that's more, a whole nation. The whole nation, race. most of the nation wants it to go away. Yeah. Isn't that true? 70% of Americans want him to continue in office and this to end. But so it's don't not ending. We as a it nation, is not ending. Not end it just keeps it's on going. Because of people end. like you, it's no, not going to end.